let me introduce you to Chris. He's just having some lunch. Oops, he's made a mess. Oh no, how annoying. What to do? There are various options. Number one, he could hide it. Hmm, that doesn't really work. He knows what's underneath and it might even seep through and it's not very comfortable. It doesn't deal with the shame that he feels for the mess he's made. The second option is to get angry and to find someone else to blame. If only Heinz made those bottles in a different way, the mess wouldn't have happened. But that doesn't really work for him either. A third option is to try and sort it out himself with a piece of paper towel. Ah, that doesn't really work either. In fact, it's possibly made things quite a bit worse. Then I said, I will not cover up my iniquity. I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. Psalm 32, verse 5. Oh God, I've made a mess and I'm sorry. It was my fault and I need help. I'm no longer worthy to be called your child. Luke 15, verse 21. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree. 1 Peter 2, verse 24. If we confess our sins, he will forgive us and purify us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1, verse 9. So if Jesus has taken my sin, that means I no longer have it. What a difference it makes when we take our sins to God to deal with. Blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven. Psalm 32 verse 1.